What's up yogis and wannabe yogis? Your friend Adrian here with Yoga with Adrian. Today we're going to learn Shalambhasana or the Locust Pose as part of our Foundations of Yoga series. This is a great posture uh, for the back, particularly if you are wanting to strengthen the lower back. Um, great for the booty. Uh, honestly, this is a great full body strengthener. It's also really great for the nervous system and the immune system. And overall, I think a great pose for anxiety and just kind of uh, a good asana to lift your spirits. So put on something comfy and hop on the mat and let's learn locust pose. So to begin, we're going to come on to the belly. Taking a second to draw the palms underneath the shoulders here and draw the toes or the heels in line with the hip points. Great, then I'm gonna take a second to loop the shoulders here forward up and back and imagine my elbows that are hugging into my side body are like little grasshopper legs, right? Locusts, ah, oh, grasshopper. Little grasshopper legs are pulling back. Can you tell I come from a kid's yoga background? Ah, oh, that's good for all of us though. Okay, so I'm just taking a second here in a nice little baby back bend to lengthen through the crown of the head and find a little lift in the heart. I'm not putting, in fact, everyone lift your palms. Foundations of yoga, find your foundation. So I'm not putting a bunch of weight into the palms here, but I'm just checking in. Couple of action points. Press into the tops of the feet, press into the pubic bones, so pelvis to the earth. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, and then we already talked about elbows, hugging in and drawing back. So one more breath here. Great, last point of action here. I'm gonna press into the tops of the feet and try to lift the legs. So I'm pressing into the pelvis, lifting the legs. So just kind of connecting, checking in with that activity. And then exhale, release. We'll come onto the right here, ear here, right ear here, and just rest. Great, now for a locust variation. So I'm gonna send the fingertips back, palms face down. So eventually we'll get to palms face up, but I'm going to lift the chin, lift the heart. Inhale in, as you exhale, find that lift again, this time using the palms to kind of press and up, press up and out of. Breathe. Now inhale in again, and on your next exhale, let the legs lift up. Now press into your foundation. Find that energy between the inner thighs as if we're hugging them together, but I'm still keeping my heels in line with the hip points for now. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And again, I like to teach this with the fingertips or the palms pressing up and out of the earth so that I find that length here in the neck. Great, one more breath. And then exhale, rest and release. Come onto the left ear now, opposite ear. And you can shake the hips a little left to right. Beautiful, inhale, bring it back to center. Press into the pubic bone, so pelvis to the earth. Now, I'm not clenching in the buttocks here, so that's why I like pressing into the pelvis because when we just clench the buttocks and then we try to lift this, not good for the lower back. So, press the pelvis into the earth, tuck the chin into the chest as you lift the head. Now this time we're gonna inhale in, exhale, lift the legs. <sighs> Beautiful. Now I can stay here working on building strength in the back body and just full body awareness. Or I can inhale in again and exhale, flip the palms, <sighs> send the fingertips towards the backs of my legs. <sighs> Breathing here, spread the fingertips, spread the toes, and then exhale, release, right ear to the earth. Ah, oh, relax, shake the hips a little left to right. Let's check it out again, pressing the pelvis into the earth. I'll bring the head back to center. This time we're gonna go full on Mission Impossible with the exhale. So I'm gonna inhale in, find my integrity, find my foundation, and on an exhale, lift. 
breathe. Traditionally, we turn the palms face up, but as a beginner, I actually like palms down because I remember pressing up and out of the earth to find that extension. Breathing here. And on an exhale, we release left ear to the earth. Shake the hips. Soften everything. And one more little variation for fun to close it out. So we press the pelvis in, press into the tops of the feet, lift the head. This time I'm going to inhale in, exhale, lift the legs. And then I'm going to crawl my fingertips behind the ears and reach the arms forward as I hover. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Spread the fingertips and toes, pressing into the pelvis. One more breath. We might draw a line with the nose. Just look forward slightly. Careful not to crunch here. And then on an exhale, we release. Palms come underneath the shoulders here, and we counteract. Coming up to all fours, walk the knees in towards the center line. Bring the belly to the thighs. Oh, and sink it back into Balasana. Three to five breaths here. Breathing into the back body. Sweet, then we'll tuck the chin into the chest. And slowly roll her up. All right, so that was the foundations of locust pose or shalambasana. Uh, as I said before, it's a great posture to just kind of lift your spirits, give the body a little energetic cleanse, great for the lower back. And um, we'll talk more about the benefits of this posture over on the website. Hop on the newsletter if you like uh, at yogawithadrian.com. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm trying to grow our Twitter, so join us on Twitter at Yoga with Adrian. Yeah, just at Yoga with Adrian. That's the deal, right? <laughs> okay, love you guys. Leave questions, comments below, and we'll see you next time. 